I'm live. I'm going to go post a link on the website. We're going to start in three minutes. I'm running behind, obviously. Let's go get this on the page or somebody will be losing their minds. Space. Link. Paste. Link. Enter. Edit. Settings. Open. Update. Update. All right. I'll get everybody coming in here. Um, if you're new and you're thinking, I would like to play uh, Italian music on the ukulele. Um, JollyRogerUkulele.com. That has all the information you're going to need. And um, it will make you a smart and beautiful and fast ukulele player. So come hang out with us and learn a little bit. In a minute or two, somebody here in chat will tell me that the sound sounds fine. I'm hoping. <laughs> so one thing I don't have the ability to run is uh, I can't tell if the sound is working on your end. So I always require somebody to log in and say, yep, sounds good. I know. <laughs> I'm a little bit late because I was choking down two sandwiches. And watching me eat an egg salad sandwich is probably not what you're, what you're here to do. So I'm running a little late. Uh, Italian music. The sound is fine. Sound is fine. Sound is great. I'm back. <laughs> Lynn is back. Sound is good. All right. You guys are going to get sick of me, right? You're going to get sick of me. So be 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 mindful. You don't want to take everything, right? Take a little bit of take a little bit of ukulele and or a little bit of whatever you're into. The sound is lovely. <laughs> okay, you're a weirdo. All right. Uh, let's see. What are we going to talk about here? We got we got one minute to let everybody get logged in here. Um, and I think I'm right. I think posting those links at the top of the page, you got to be a little mindful about clicking on the link before and ending up in the wrong video, right? So hopefully you guys got that figured out. I think that's going to be the smart thing to do. Just put it everything up on the top of the page. You come in and you're like, all right, Rich, I'm here for next level ukulele. Click. That's going to work, right? Let's see. <laughs> Lynn, Lynn, I'm back. Let's see. Hey, Vic. I was looking at the schedule and realized you didn't give yourself a lunch break. I know. I didn't give myself a, Well, I've had enough lunch breaks in my life. So, yeah. I no. It, the problem is not the break. Like right? 10 minutes between classes is plenty for me. Um, but I got to actually end the classes on time and start them on time. If I will follow my own schedule. It's one of my personal growth areas is to follow the clock a little bit more religiously one of the things i have found in my life is that i don't really care how time works and so i just want things to be quality and so sometimes i run way over sometimes when i'm done i'm like all right that's it get out <laughs> you know and so i don't usually do that but i i don't I don't like to stop stuff that's going well. And so um, it's one of my growth areas as a person is to say, all right, this is the start time. This is the stop time. When it's time to stop, you have to stop. And so, yeah. So, um, but, you know, honestly, 10 minutes is a lot of time, um, plenty of time for me to get a sandwich in. So the only problem is you'll have to watch me drink my coffee uh, from time to time. All right, everybody's here. Jack's here. Valerie's here. Poor Valerie. She's logging in a lot of hours with me. Diane is here. Clay is back from Sonoma. California is still in terrible, terrible trouble over there. So we're going to hopefully, we're, we're sending fond thoughts to have all those fires just magically go away. Louisiana is going to get whacked. <laughs> two, 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 two hurricanes in a row. That's ridiculous. Um, red. red. Red's for quantity. <laughs> Screw quality. Let's see, friend. Do you ever notice that the people who are not? <laughs> we have a couple of friends, and they are, uh, one of them is on time, and he is miserable all of the time. And um, the other person is not so much on time. So let's see. So Renee is in. Let's see. <laughs> Fran is funny. Fran is funny, right? Uh, that's a good point. Let's see. 
So we now learn who we want to be, right? The person that's my my friend Debbie, who helps me run the orchestra. She is religiously on time. She'll be five minutes early, you know. That's how she is. And then she's always mad everybody else is late. So yeah. So see, we learn those of us who are neglectful about time. All right, kids. So today we have are doing what are we doing? We're doing Santa Lucia, right? Um, but let's review very quickly. I gotta get the sheet music. I just realized I never downloaded the sheet. That's the problem I'm having right now is I keep forgetting to be prepared. Um, I know I have it. <laughs> I just don't have it with me. So we're let's let's do Spaghetti Monster and then let's play That's Amore. That's Amore. We did spend a, quite a bit of time on it last night. No, we didn't. We didn't spend any time on it last night. That's Amore is one of our nighttime uh, Monday night songs. So those of you guys that are thinking, hey, I want to be in, involved in the Monday night thing, um, you guys will be um, you'll be all set. And um, it's going to take a while to load up. So let's grab my spaghetti monster first while this is loading up. And that way I'll have a chance to get it set up properly. And I apologize. I didn't even think to get this download. Here we go. It's finally going. Okay. Um, so that is, let's do my spaghetti monster first. Then we'll play that some more. And then we'll play through Santa, Santa, Santa Lucia. There's nothing that much super complicated in it. And uh, so we don't need to spend a ton of time on it. But I'd like to spend as much time as we can. Um, playing through everything today. Tomorrow's piece, Funiculi Funiculi, is quite a bit tough, more challenging. How come that's not working? Is quite a lot more. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a more challenging piece. Can I get that? I got that. Let's grab that. Up here. 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 <clears throat> John Roger. Songs. There. Downloads. Ukulele. How come when I forget to download something, it's always way down at the end of the alphabet. I have to scroll all the way down there. Mm -hmm. Now it froze. Great. All right. Oh, there it goes. <clears throat> okay. Okay, I'm finally ready. Sorry about that, guys. So, My Spaghetti Monster, <clears throat> you guys are only playing it because it has the word spaghetti in it, and you should, this should not be particularly challenging for you, and so, um, <clears throat> still in tune, that's exciting, okay, from the top, one, two, three, four. That's called making multiple mistakes on your own, the own, your own song that you wrote. If you, and those of you who are composers, have you ever uh, uh, written a song and then not been able to play it? Uh, I've done that, and so I just did it again. Let's play it one more time from the top. One, two, three, four. Thank you. 
you play it. All right. Let's go to uh, Natsumori. 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 <laughs> Gotta get my little device. I bought this little thing and I thought, oh, this is going to solve all my problems. And uh, it just isn't fast enough. That's the problem with it. That's a more. That's a more. That's a more. Um, we talked about one typo on here yesterday, and you may want to go ahead and adjust that now. My, my face is very bright on this side. Um, the sun is actually coming out. We've had nothing but smoke in our skies lately. On measure four in the tough uke section, it says zero, zero, 003. It really should be zero, 033. Three. So it should be zero three three. So replace the the upper the upper zero with threes. That way you get that C minor sound in there. Okay. It'll sound better. Let's see. A bunch of people snuck in while I was busy downloading. Terry's here. Lindy's here. Joy. Oh, Joyce is here. She was born late. Joyce, don't let Joyce kid you. Joyce is dynamite. Christine is here. Third class with third today. That's too many. That's too much Gary in one day, Christine. <laughs> I promise. I have to live with myself all day long. And believe me, after a while, I'm like, Ugh, it's sickening. Um, I'm very happy. <laughs> very happy to be almost always. I'm always a few minutes late. Whatever. Uh, Manette, Manette, but they opened up the highway to, to, so you, we can go see Manette now. And Gary and Diane are here a bit late. All right, so we were talking about Gary and Diane being uh, being late, old people. All right, that's a more. Uh, remember, we got uh, C minor. We have F F minor. Okay, and then we did a G seven. Okay, that sounds so cool in the beginning. Um, let's start by just playing the melody. Let's go make sure we know what's going on with that, um, and just get get a comfort comfort level with the song itself. Okay, so from the top. Uh, I'll count in three, and then we're going to go one, two, three. I try that again. I had my fingers all crazy. It's interesting when you have a... Uh, a a little bit different feeling to a song like something like that where it's definitely different than the rest of the song how uh, finger choices really become pretty important i would say probably to start with your threes on uh, with your index finger on three okay let's try it one more time just the top a one oh if it goes well we'll keep going okay one two three Let's keep going.
one. And then it repeats. Okay, so then it goes all the way back. This can be very easy to get lost when you're just playing straight melody with no back, right? And when no no um, rhythm going on. So it's easy. I kept thinking, am I on enough through seven five three seven five three seven five three? I think I've done all my seven five threes. So I was getting a lot of cognitive dissonance in in terms of just the number of repeats. So I probably blew it pretty well. Um, but uh, we've at least got an idea of how the song goes, right? So um, if you're doing this as a duet with somebody. It's going to make it quite a bit easier. Just have them being one, two, three, you know. Uh, when the moon, when the moon hits your eye like a big piece of pie, that's a morning. So, so quickly, right? So, um, but they can help you out by being that, that um, steady beat. And then you, and then it's a lot easier to know where you are in the song. Um, oh, you're fine, Linda. Uh, Manette says we can come up to her house. Um, uh, and all right, Pauline, glad you're here. All right, so now we talked yesterday a little bit about the chords, okay? And so I'd like to just run through those real quick, and make sure that everything's making sense. So grab your C minor one, two, three in Napoli, where love is king. When boy meets girl, here's what they sing, two, three, one, let that ride, and then, when the moon hits your eyes like a big pizza pie, that's a more three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, when the world seems to shine like you've had too much wine. That's a more three, one, two, three, one. Bells will ring, ding-a-ling-a-ling, ding-a-ling-a-ling, ding-a-ling-a-ling. The angels sing the more three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Fermata on there before you go back to the beginning and redo it again. Probably a Fermata there. Mm, I didn't put one in in the arrangement, uh, but you might want to put one there, especially if you're singing. Give your uh, accompanist a chance to get their pages back in order <laughs> prior to starting off on level two. Um, and then remember uh, measures uh, on page four. Go to page four real quick. Measure 69. Um, you're coming out of that. That's Signore two, three, F. Three D minor seven two G seven two three C. Okay, so a nice and pleasant ending. The one thing I'd also notice is the unfortunate page break at um, uh, between forty two and forty three. Right, you run running through lines. Uh, measures 36 through 41 you got all c chords you're just everything's going great you kind of fall asleep a little bit 42 you hit that g7 when you turn the page you immediately have to go into that um, diminished shape so you may want to make yourself a note at the bottom of page two 
that hey be aware you have a diminished shape coming up on page three and most of the time we got to turn the page after page two right so make yourself a note uh, on the bottom of c2 uh page two go uh c dim dm7 that way you know what the chords are coming up uh, so you don't don't completely blow them um so a little bit of an unfortunate turn page break there all right now we talked about chords talked about melody you guys are the the advanced class right so we should be able to now just to take all that stuff put it together let's talk about what goes well and then we've got to jump and get on to santa lucia which is really a pretty song let's see who wandered in here uh oh cat was in and you you teachers i know you're running <laughs> do school and do do uh ukulele and i know you're running crazy um so 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 Take care of yourselves, right? Uh, it's all recorded if you don't make it, right? So don't worry. Don't rush. Get, get here when you can. Uh, glad, Jennifer, I'm glad you're available now. All right. So let's talk about um, how, how you think about Tough You. You know the melody. You know the chords. Okay. Now let's start thinking about what I do is I just try to put in as much of as I, as I can chord-wise underneath the melody that I feel like I'm going to be able to play. Okay. So, for example, measure one. Um, you get this is three, obviously. That's just a pickup note. You almost always just play that by itself. Then you've got a nice chord at measure two that you can just drop in. And then you're going to do five, six, and then three, five, three. So then I think, all right, I got to get this. The F minor's here, but my melody's here. So I don't, I, all of a sudden, I don't need this finger at all. So it's just one, zero, four. Okay, and then I'll let that ring. Okay, then three, five. And then I'm going to put my C minor on under here. Again, the typo. Make sure you have that extra three on the, uh, the third string. Okay, and then one, three, one. And then, and then this is a G chord, right? It's a G7 is the correct thing, but the melody is here. So you've got to just put a G chord on. Okay. Again, pick up notes are just by themselves. Seven, five, and then I've got a three as the melody, and then I've got the C here. So I'm going to play this with my index finger because I'm going to be playing the sevens and fives, right? And then I go drop to the two, G7. Grab your DC diminished. Two, three, D minor seven. Two, three, G seven. Don't slow down. Just go grab that five, three, D, G seven. Five, three, G seven. Five, three, G seven. Five, three, G seven. I think that's the right number. Then here, three, O, C minor, C major seven. Which sounds cool, doesn't it? When you hit that two, and then hit the zeros. That's a lot of C chord underneath those two melody notes. And the zero, zero, zero is just there to fill up space while the singer is busy finishing up Amore. Okay. Doom, doom, doom. That gives them a notice. Hey, you're on notice. You got to shut up. Uh, I get my rest here, which is zero, 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 three. Oh, three. Page turn. Full C. And then remembering that these are eighth notes is a little bit important. Is not a little bit. It's very important. O three, O three, strum. O three, O three, strum. O three. Uh, grab your E flat diminished, which looks exactly like a C diminished. Grab the five. G seven. Diminished shape on three. Four, three, G seven. Seven. Uh, we're into major 29. 2, 1, G7 at 30. 2, 1, 2, 1, strum. 2, 1, 2, 1, strum. 2, 1, strum. 3, 2, all opens. 3, 2, all opens. 37, go to your 7. Seven. Turn the page on twos. Two, three, D minor seven. Three, G seven. 
fives. G7. Then right a little bit, it's a dotted quarter, so let it go a little bit further. And then E7. Two, three, B flat. Two, three, A. Two, three, one. One, three, D minor. One, three, D minor. O2. D minor seven. O2, F minor. Five, three, seven. Two, three, four. Two, three, full C chord. Five, three, G seven. Five, three, G seven. Five, three, G seven. Three, O, oh, G seven. Three, five, seven, five, three. Two, uh, and then immediately into your C damn. Two, three, G seven. Two, three, high G seven. Okay. Let's go through and let's play it without stopping. Game face is on. Okay. By the way, this is one of the nighttime uh, Monday night songs. Okay. So putting your timing on this one's going to work out good. Plus, it's super fun. You get to talk about drinking wine and, and eating pasta. Okay. <laughs> We're going to play the whole thing, top to bottom. Okay. Go all the way. Uh, um, we'll play, what time is it? Oh, we're already on, uh, already pushing time. So let's play it one time through. Okay, so we don't need to do the turnaround this time. When you get to measure 65, jump to the second ending. Okay, so one time through, straight through. Whew, game face. One, two, three. Three, two, three. Let it, let it ring out. 
All right, so my playing on that was pretty iffy, but you got the big idea of what we're supposed to do, right? And so we just need a little bit more time to clean that up. Um, nice song, but pretty playable, I'd say. Um, kind of fun. And again, if you get where you're like confident with that song, you're like, hey, I like that song. Um, we want to, you know, do everything you can to get the Italianness, the 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 just sort of crazy. Da da dum, ba da 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 bum, ba da 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 dum, bum. But, uh, bum. So, so be very open to the idea that it doesn't have to be strictly on time. When we're working together, obviously we want to try to play together, and I'm not doing any favors by making a ton of mistakes as I'm playing, but at least you get the idea of, hey, we're all playing together. Let's see if we can get that cleaned up and cleaned up nice and tight. Like we talked about in, in, in uh, uh, Institute on Monday night, you know, getting everything nice and neat and orderly and in proper position is going to make you feel better and feel great about being a player and really moving at a high rate of speed. But when you're playing solo, don't feel overly obligated to be exactly what the sheet music says. You really want to be creating the story behind it. And so uh, when you're, when the moon hits your eye like a big piece of pie, that's some more, right? You can kind of hold on to it, a little bit of show business there where you're like, that's some more, right? Even though it's very clear, you know, it's way too long to hold that note, but you can get away with it as a, as a soloist. So, all right, that's some more. Now, let's go to Santa Lucia, which is absolutely delightful to play. Um, where did I put it? Santa Lucia. Here we go. So Santa Lucia, um, this is one of the, um, I don't know what how to put it, just pleasant, right? Just like you're, you, I, if you picture yourself, if you've ever done this, you, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't done it, you need to go to it. You're in Lake Como. The sun is setting. You're at a restaurant. There's six tables out there. The waiters, they come up, they take your order, they bring you your food, and then they don't come back. And they just leave you. To <laughs> they don't know why they have such a bizarre system, but they don't. They give you your food, and you can stay there all night. And you have a glass of wine, and uh, you're just in there's little boats, and you hear cling, cling, cling from whatever it was, some bell on a boat somewhere. And the moon has come out, and your, your, your sweetheart is across the table. That's what you're picturing, okay? Um, and if you can't picture that, Right? If you haven't done that yet, one, go do it because it's awesome. But two, uh, uh, picture yourself going down the canal. The guy's pushing the boat down the canal. I think they use rows. Or no, they use big sticks, don't they? They use big sticks and I'm pushing down. Uh, and there's a guy on the back of the boat and he's singing to you and you and your sweetheart are sitting there in, in the boat. Um, now need the silvery moon. Right, so just get that really soft, pretty, luscious feeling to it, um, and then let your ukulele play it out. And don't don't rush it. Um, there's nothing here that that's that's crazy or ridiculous or any of that. Um, and I would say let's you know do everything you can to make sure that you're getting clean, pretty, soft, lush tones out of your instrument. Um, we'll skip the chords because there's absolutely honest to goodness nothing interesting in them. There's some C's, G7s, G minors. Um, I don't believe at any point is there anything worth talking about. Uh, there's not. Um, so it's just your standard issue C scale chords. Um, and so, and then the melody, we'll talk, and we'll, we'll pull the melody out from the tough you. So if you are, if you're not tough you get, which is fine, um, play the melody, right? And then talk somebody, you know, into playing these chords and you're going to have a really cool song on your hand, but let's go straight to tough you. Okay. So first thing, partial C, hit the C again, and then roll down. Okay. So you can really just cover both of those to get started with maybe. Um, I don't know. Yeah, maybe, or roll down either way. Okay, G7, you add the G7 on, leave your three where it is, and then pull the two back. Okay, and a lot of times I will probably strum that second one as well. Either way, okay, then you go to your D minor, hit the one, favorite chord of all, okay, then nice some zeros. Put your D minor on, um, but you're going to have to put your pinky here on the three. Pull it back to the two, and then the one, 
That's uh, kind of the only hard part, I think, of the song. Okay. And you might want to hit a full chord there at the end. Okay, then go to your G7. So major 8 is a full open. Okay, then zero, zero, 003. And then we repeat that whole idea again. That's it. So once you learn the first eight measures, you've also learned the, the first 16 measures. So you just work on those two sections, um, but you only have to work on the first section because the second section is identical. Okay. Now, measure uh, 17, we're going to go up here. This is where the song is very Italian feeling. Okay. Grab your seven, have your five ready, and your three, just like we did in the last one, right? Seven by threes. I've just got five three, but you could strum them all. F chord with your two. That's your gonna be your ring finger. Pinky on five. Okay. And then um, while you're holding that five, your bar is rushing up to get all of the fives. And then zero zero two. To strum that last one, who knows? Um, but that two is feels wrong. Um, so you don't want to linger on that two. It, it, it it's an F sharp on underneath a C chord. It doesn't make any sense, but until you resolve it with the three three. Okay, and then measure twenty one back to the seven. This is where you're going to want to grab both threes at once, okay? Because we've got to go, Santa Lucia. And so you want to grab both threes. You're going to be busy here for one, one measure pretty hard chord, okay? So grab your seven, both threes, open, D minor, pinky up here. Okay, and then you're going to do the fancy G7, that high G7 we've talked about quite a bit. Open, grab the two, and grab the five, and then the three. I'm probably strumming, right? Go back there, and then now that little section is almost identical in the next section, okay? So from 25, one, two, three. G7, pinky on that 7, lose the pinky, and then 5-3. And we're going to go back and play the whole song a second time. Okay, When you come through the last time, there was just a little bit of a fancy ending there. It's the 5-3, and then 0, 0, 0, 3, and then a nice C chord to wrap it up. So it's going to be, so this is one of those pieces where you don't want to play fast, okay? You want to play beautiful. Mm -hmm. okay. I said it at 100, you can get away with it at 65 probably, <laughs> okay? Let's, let's go nice and slow, two times through, and then we're done for the day. One, two, three.
That's the good song right there. That's a good song. <laughs> See, you would go to Italy just to do that. Whatever that is, that's worth going to Italy for. Italy ended up turning out to be kind of like Disneyland. It's like so many tourists that you're not, if you speak any Italian at all, you are really have gotten yourself lost. <laughs> Questions, comments, concerns? 146. We knocked it out. We knocked out both songs. We're in, in good shape. Um, very quickly, uh, tomorrow, Funiculi Funicula. I've already posted it. It's hard. It's going to be I'm probably a little too hard. And there's a couple of chords in there that just are a bummer. Um, um, I just finished Carnival of Venice and I'm working on Oso Mule right now. Um, uh, there, no, Carnival of Venice won't be anything very, very easy. And Oso Mule will be a little bit harder. Um, I haven't quite finished all of the cording on it. So I'm hoping that it comes together a little easier than I thought. Um, and then remember for Friday, you are also including your better bar worksheet, um, your key of C major arpeggio. We're not talking about it in this class anymore because you guys know what you're doing on that. Um, Skaters Waltz, we'll finish that, that one up, and Brahms Lullaby, and of course, this little light of mine. So we've got plenty of tunes to keep you busy for the Friday concert. Those of you who are coming to all of my classes, stop doing that, all right? Uh, come to Harmonica, because it's funny. Uh, and then come to this class, just make sure you're getting all your new music in. And then... Um, uh, you know, and then spending a little bit of time at home, just making sure you, you're feeling those sort of songs are fresh and keeping them light and, and happy. And then um, I went ahead and dumped Tromieri, Troy Mirai out of this week's stuff, and I'm dumped it next week. Um, I'm, I've got music from the islands that I'm planning, so we're going to be doing uh, Blue Hawaii and a couple of things. Uh, Lanny, I don't know if he actually logged in today. Uh, uh, he back in the day we did a ton of songs. He and I, uh, Sweet Leilani and. Uh, uh, ukulele lady and all these stuff so we're gonna do songs of the islands we're gonna do four songs of those and then the week after we're gonna do stephen foster and that's when i want to stick in the the bring back troy Mirai, the full on version i got five measures left to, to complete and i'm making that egg so close to the original that i'm super excited about it um but uh schumann and uh stephen foster were contemporary lived contemporaneously and so we can compare and contrast you know uh take me out to the ball game versus troy Mirai. <laughs> right and uh, so that's what we're doing uh the next couple of weeks uh music of the islands music of old people so uh um that's what we're doing uh let's see questions let's see anybody have a question uh, now for some launch lasagna and meatballs yes i hadn't even thought of that we need to have a, we need to have some food okay all right um how about a high C for the last measure? Oh, yeah. Heck, yeah. Pull it up. Pull it, you know, use the high C or the really, really high C. Use that. Uh, absolutely, Jack. Smart idea, right? Just, the, you know, dun, dun, bum, 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 plink. Right? Absolutely. You can do that. Uh, you're welcome, Evelyn. Jack, good to see you. How about, let's see, uh, Marshall. Golf clap. <laughs> thanks for another fun day you guys are playing top level music i hope you know that i hope you're clear that you are not 
just playing a little bit. This is legit music, right? And so good job on all that. Um, uh, Manette, good to see you. I'm so glad things are going well for you, Carol. All right, guys, you got to unplug. Get out of here. Go, go, go live your lives. Um, uh, after this, what am I doing? We got baritone after this for those of you who are doing that, and then guitar, and then then uh, and then I gotta go down, walk down to the shop and fi put, fix a couple of ukuleles, and uh, um, so we're we'll just keep this thing going until something changes. Okay, I'm terrified of what's going on out there, and so um, this is me pretending everything's great. So, all right, ciao for now, Red. Good to see you, Lynn. Uh, I, it's a beautiful song holy moly not that hard to play either that's when every now and then we get a beautiful song that's not that hard to play and those are the those are the keepers right and so especially this one where you take your time to get through it how long did it take us to play that thing three minutes something and it's only uh 30 measures you know so yeah it's nice uh sandy i'll see you tomorrow lindy see you soon clay keep those fires out of sonoma man Go get your garden hose out to shut that thing down. Terrible. Uh, and the rest of you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you tomorrow. Ending the stream.